Hi there. Welcome to the SSIS course step by step from scratch. In this video, we're going to see how to create the SSIS package. So I will take a use case and we will design our ETL package. We have already covered how, what is the introduction on SSIS, ETL and data integration, setup and installation. We have configured our IDE and we have also seen how to create a new project in SQL Server integration services. So now we are all ready to create our SSIS package. So the use case we are going to work is we will going to take a CSV file where we have the employee database and now we will extract the data from this database. After that, we, once we have that file ready, we will extract the information and transform it to create new columns and data rows or might be dropping a new column or doing any sort of transformation on top of it. Once the transformation is ready, as a next step, we will load our data into our database. So this is called extraction, transformation and load. And this is an ETL step. So as you closely observe, we already have the CSV file. We have, we can do the transformation. However, we do not have the database yet configured. So let me quickly show you how to configure our database. And then we can go back and start creating our new package. So let's get started. So in order to create our database, I go here. And this is my database SQL Server Express. I'll just disconnect it from here and I'll create a new connection database engine. You can see my server name is automatically coming here. I will click on connect and it is successfully connected. Now I will create my new database and this is the employee database. So I'll say my employee DB. I hit OK. I have already some database on my server. So let's click here. And I can see my employee DB is listed here. So I will go and create a new table in my employee database. And what I will take, what all the details we need, we need an employee ID. I can make it integer, uh, set as a primary key. What is a primary key? If you know this concept, that's good. If not, you can refer to the SQL concepts. As a second column, we can go with the employee name. Let's not put employee name. Let's put it first name. For the first name, the data type would be uh, valcare 50. Then we can go with the last name. And in the last name, again, we can select valcare 50. Then we have address. In the address section, address can be long. So we have to take valcare max. We will go with the phone number. Phone number can be long based on what is the format. I will also take backup 50 for it. Then I'll add one email field and I'll store the email in this section. So for the email, I'm going to take backup 50. So that's it. This is our table has been designed. And let's save this table as an employee, employee table and click OK. So once our employee table has been saved, let's go back to our database and check whether it is available or not. So yes, it is available and let's see what data it have. So when I click on employee table, I see no data is available here and our database is ready now. So we are all set to create our new project and we'll go back to our canvas. I'll delete this and we are ready to create our new package in SSIS. For our next video, I'm going to create this ETL operations, which we have discussed in this video, and I'll show you how to execute it. We will read the data from CSV file. We will transform the data and we'll load it into our database. So see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.